I would hate to be at the airport to then be told my drone is prohibited. <laughs> hey guys, I'm Crystal Amanda and welcome or welcome back to my channel. For those who notice, I'm not recording in my studio today, but the show must go on. And in today's video, I will be sharing what not to pack in your carry-on luggage for a smooth airport security screening. So without further ado, let's jump right in. The first thing to not pack in your carry-on luggage is a pocket knife, box cutter, or single razor blades. If you wanna pack any of these, it must be packed in a checked luggage. Otherwise, it will get confiscated during a security screening. The next thing not to pack in your carry-on luggage is scissors with blades longer than four inches. If the blades are longer than four inches, it will get confiscated. But just keep in mind that I did follow this rule until my three inch blade scissors got confiscated on my way back to the US. So when that happened, I started traveling with one inch blade scissors and I haven't had any issues with this departing or returning to the US. Some things can be in the discretion of TSA and if they feel things can be used as a weapon, those items will get confiscated. The third thing not to pack in your carry-on luggage is liquids, creams, or gels in bottles or containers larger than 3.4 ounces. If you pack liquid containers larger than 3.4 ounces, you'll either have to throw away or go back to the ticket counter and check in your luggage. The fourth thing not to pack in your carry-on luggage is more than one liquid-filled toiletry bag. If you pack more than one liquid-filled toiletry bag, TSA will ask you to fit everything in one pouch, but if everything can't fit, you'll either have to throw away what you don't want or go back to the ticket counter and check in your luggage. The fifth thing to not pack in your carry-on luggage is bottled water. Bottled water is not allowed through security, so you can either finish your water or you'll have to toss the bottle in the trash bin before proceeding with the security screening. Or you can freeze water. Frozen water is allowed through security. Also, another tip that one of my subbies shared in one of my travel tips video is ice cubes are allowed through security. So if you have a drinking bottle filled with ice cubes only, you should be good. The sixth thing to not pack in your carry-on luggage are gift wrap presents. If TSA cannot identify what's underneath the wrapping paper, they will have to unwrap the presents for inspection. But if you do decide to wrap your gifts before your trip, Another tip from one of my subbies is to use a pre-wrapped gift box instead, where the bottom and lid are individually wrapped so that if TSA has to inspect it, they can easily lift off the lid. The seventh thing to not pack in your carry-on luggage is pepper spray. Pepper spray is prohibited in carry-ons, and some countries even consider pepper spray a concealed weapon. So if pepper spray is legal wherever you're traveling, it must be packed in checked luggage. The eighth thing to not pack in your carry-on luggage, firearm. It doesn't matter if your firearm is registered or your license to carry, just like pepper spray, firearms are prohibited in carry-ons. The ninth thing to not pack in your carry-on luggage is medical marijuana that contains more than 0.3% of THC. Now, I don't smoke, so I don't know how TSA checks or verifies this, so to play it safe, I wouldn't pack it at all. This next one isn't a hard no, and that is drones. Drones are allowed only if they meet certain criteria. This is why TSA encourages drone users to contact the airline for their regulations before their trip. I would hate to be at the airport to then be told my drone is prohibited. What? So if you're a content creator or you use drones for your business, check with the airline first before you book that flight. If you have any carry on horror stories, you know, things you shouldn't have packed or packed by mistake, comment down below. If you enjoyed this video or found it helpful, please click the like button because it helps my channel grow. And for the TSA top travel tips, go check out my TSA do's and don'ts video next. And join me next week as I share what not to pack in your checked luggage. So until then, thanks for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.